Survivor is known for its unique challenges, its wacky puzzles, and its unpredictable competitive nature. That is, unless you're Carson from Survivor 44 and have a 3D printer and have all the Survivor challenges in your very own backyard. The Survivor challenge crew that has been designing these challenges ever since the very first season has introduced a plethora of mind-bending puzzles that have left Survivor fans begging to try out for themselves. So I asked myself this question. If I were on the show, which puzzles look the most fun to solve and which ones did I believe to be the most unique and interesting? What's up everybody, welcome back to a new video where today we'll be breaking down some of the most iconic puzzles in Survivor history. But before we get into today's video, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on notifications so you're in the loop on when I post new content. In no particular order, the first puzzle I consider to be unique is the Odd Shape Bottoms Challenge from Survivor Blood vs. Water. On a recent rewatch of this season, I couldn't help but admire how alluring the puzzle looked. You were given rectangular blocks that were different in length and had different slopes on the bottom. This competition was first used in Survivor One World, but there's something about the Blood vs. Water version that made me think to myself, why haven't they done this challenge again? The second puzzle on my list will have to be Disentanglement from Survivor 45. Now, hear me out. The producers were insane for only giving them an hour to solve this. There's an entire YouTube video that shows you the explanation on how to solve it, and even after watching it, I still don't even think any castaway would be able to complete it in the allotted time. This challenge was tempted to survivors a few times during the season. The first time this puzzle was introduced was during the premiere episode during the Savvy Task, where survivors had to remove flint connected to a circle of rope. The first group of castaways that were able to complete Sweat and Savvy could bring back supplies to their camp. To nobody's surprise, no one was able to solve it. I still really like this puzzle though because of how challenging it is. Even Carson Garrett, Survivor's puzzle guru, tweeted about how it's one of the hardest puzzles he's ever solved. The next puzzle on our list at number 3 is actually a repeat offender. However, it doesn't ruin its replayability because of how different the producers make it every time. It's the Hanging Puzzle Challenge. There are several seasons that have used this challenge. In Survivor 33 and 43, it was a bat puzzle. In Survivor 39 and 42, it was a fish puzzle. In my opinion, I think Roxroy was super excited to spend time helping solve this puzzle instead of being around his annoying wife and kids. Challenges like these are really unique because it adds gravity as a battling factor. Speaking of puzzles that use gravity as a battling factor, is the most recent challenge we just saw on Survivor 46. This is the first iteration of this challenge being done as a tribal immunity. It was first introduced in Survivor 45 as an individual challenge, but with smaller blocks. But in Episode 2 of Survivor 46, the scale of the challenge was taken to the next level. This is one of my favorite challenges this show has done in the new era. It has a lot going for it, but I have my issues. It's not a huge issue, but the entire first part of the challenge was completely unnecessary in this instance since all three tribes struggled on it for a while on the arch part. I don't know if it was the editing or this cast, but this challenge gave me everything I look for when I watch Survivor. I went through the five stages of grief watching this challenge. After Nami spelled pesristance, Siga consistently getting so close to victory, and Banu yelling at Jess, this challenge was so intense they had to leave us on a commercial cliffhanger for what felt like 10 minutes. Another sick puzzle Survivor should definitely bring back is the snake in the grass puzzle first used in Survivor Philippines but reintroduced in David vs Goliath. The puzzle doesn't include many pieces, but it's unlike your typical jigsaw. The pieces are cylindrical and bend, making it difficult to figure out which pieces go where. In Survivor Philippines, Jonathan Penner, a player who essentially was completely out of the challenge, was able to make an insane comeback with this puzzle in his season. The next puzzle on our list is from the final immunity challenge of Survivor Redemption Island. The main part of this challenge was a maze where contestants had to search for puzzle pieces. The final part of the challenge was a puzzle that was reminiscent of those origami paper games you would play as a kid. You had to spell out a common survivor phrase using these pieces. From the viewer's point of view, the puzzle didn't look too challenging, but this is me after trying to break apart the disentanglement puzzle. On a small scale, the puzzle looks straightforward, but I would like to see the producers bring this challenge back again. The challenge comes down to Boston Rob and Ashley being very neck and neck on the word scramble. And at one point, Boston Rob tries to get Ashley to work together with him. Both agree to work together, but neither actually follows through with it. Ultimately, it's Boston Rob who figures out the phrase, only you are safe. And what follows is one of the most memorable victory celebrations of all time. The seventh puzzle on my list is Pyramid Scheme. We've seen this challenge in Ghost Island, David vs Goliath, but most recently in Survivor 43. This challenge was interesting specifically in this season because players had to create a cube first, take it apart, and then create a pyramid using those same blocks. 
It just goes to show you that Survivor is a show where you can watch a 19 year old Mormon pet cremator hit the gritty after successfully making a triangle. I mean, really, what more can you ask for in a show? I thought I had seen it all, but here we are. The next puzzle on my list is the build your own table maze competition. What makes this challenge so unique is the fact that you are the one with all the power to create the maze. The goal is to get your ball into specific slots, but in order to do that, your table maze needs to be correct. If regular table mazers weren't hard enough, try having to create your own by solving a puzzle. And listen, I've tried out table mazes before. Here's some footage of me at Janet Carbon's Winners at War premiere party back in 2020. Table mazes are fun, guys. It's got the Andrew Yalo seal of approval. The next puzzle on the list is the final puzzle from Survivor South Pacific. To my best knowledge, this is the only time they've ever used a puzzle like this. It's the final part of the Out on a Limb challenge where you had to correctly place 8 different shapes in a rotating puzzle board. I like puzzles like this because unlike the table maze challenge we just talked about, there was only one solution to this and it had to be perfect. It's a decently unique puzzle because Survivor hasn't brought it back and I think they should. The 10th and final puzzle I believe to be super unique is the tower puzzles. Not as unique as the others on the list because we do see iterations of these puzzles in almost every season, but I just love the idea of it. I feel like doing this puzzle in person would be so rewarding, but challenging at the same time. We've seen this challenge used in seasons such as Island of the Idols, Game Changers, and many more. This is a challenge the Survivor producers can use over and over again because it can be different every time, making it unique. I think straying away from the star puzzle and the tree puzzle would be good ideas moving forward. For the record, before making this video, I went back and skimmed through at least 15 of the most recent seasons of Survivor, and I noticed that this star puzzle was used in Survivor 38, 41, and 44, all on episode 10 of those seasons. I'm not lying, go check it out yourself. But this video isn't about the most common or overused Survivor puzzles, so maybe we'll save some more of those for a future video. Well, look at that. Like Jeff says, I've got nothing else for you. Stay tuned for more future videos like this. Remember to stay subscribed and let me know some of your favorite survivor puzzles down below in the comments. If you're Maria and have been holding up a giant puzzle piece on your head this entire video, then congrats, you've made it to the end and you can go back to camp with the rest of your tribe and listen to Ben and Charlie fantasize about Metallica and Taylor Swift all night long. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.